Hey, it's Greg from Cutting Edge Stencils and welcome to another episode of Home Talk. Today on Home Talk, we're gonna take this old fence and dress it up with some beautiful stenciled flowers. It's super easy, it's a great summer project. Stick with me, we're starting right now. What you'll need for this project is a dense foam roller and a few trays, a sanding block with some 120 sandpaper, a dust brush, some blue tape, and Wise Owl One Hour Enamels. We're using the Renovation Gray and White Birch today. And of course, we'll be using cutting edge stencils today. We have our Sunshine Dahlia. We have Chrysanthemum Grande. We've got Favorite Flower. And we've got Anemone Grande, as well as this innovative leaf and stem kit. We'll start by giving this old fence a quick sanding and then brush the dust off and we'll be ready for stenciling. We're going to start with the darker color first, Renovation Gray. I've got that ready to go. I've got a dense foam roller and a few paper towels to offload the roller so there won't be too much paint. And I've placed my first stencil, secured it with just a few pieces of blue tape, the Anemone Grande, and we'll start with that. Okay, when you're stenciling, try to use a nice, even pressure. I mean, look how the roller pushes the stencil down. Look how the roller pushes that down. Now you can remove the stencil and it looks great already. Randomly place your next stencil and just continue. Medium pressure. Look how fast and easy this is. So now I'm gonna use this stem stencil and it's got this curved section. So if I want the flower to lean this way, I'll use it this way. If I want the flower to lean the other way, I use it this way. So it's really easy to get multiple directions with one stencil. Okay, I've got the stem stencil placed and now I'm just gonna use my roller, but I'm just gonna use the, the nose of it, just the end of it. And I'm just gonna come down and just use it almost like a paintbrush. It's that simple. Mm, great. So now we're gonna use the leaf stencil and add some leaves to the stems. When you're using a leaf stencil, if you're afraid that you're gonna over roll and get into this other leaf area, just put a piece of tape on it, cover it up like so. This way you can roll the leaf that you want. And if you overdo it like that and go over this area, it doesn't even matter because you covered it up. Perfect. You've got a lot of control with these rollers. You can angle them, use just the tip, super easy. All right, I finished with the renovation gray and now I'm gonna move on to white birch. That's gonna give us the light color on top. I pre-place my stencils to knock it right out. What do you think of this project? It turned out great, and it's an easy one for first-time stencilers. Thanks for tuning in to Home Talk, and we'll see you next project.